the beginning, just a spark, lonely, but full of potential. The spark that starts a fire capable of transforming darkness into light, cold into heat. Throughout history, humanity has searched for guides, for lights that can illuminate the way. But how can we understand our present and shape the future if we do not look to the past? At every moment in time, we find the imprint of divine providence, intervening, guiding, and rekindling faith in lost hearts. And among all those guides, one figure emerges, Saint Anthony Mary Claret, a man who not only lit that spark, but decided to turn it into a fire of faith. Let us remember the words he says to us in the definition of the missioner. The son of the Immaculate Heart of Mary is a man on fire with love, who effectively desires and endeavors by all means to enkindle the fire of divine love in everyone. Can you feel it? It is the warmth of faith spreading, touching souls, transforming lives, igniting the spark in every heart, in every look, in every word shared. It is not a solitary spark. It is a mission. It is a call. It is the Claration Mission, a legacy of St. Anthony Mary Claret that has been woven through generations of Clorations, reaffirming the faith at every step, moment, and situation. We are part of something bigger, a loving design of God, a purpose, a dream. And in the midst of this vast universe, a spark, our spark has the power to light up the world. It is the fire of God's love, lit by Claret and nourished by each one of us. A spark that when shared grows and becomes a fire that can no longer be extinguished. Let us together light that spark and let the fire of love light our way now and forever. Dear brothers, peace and blessings. In this 175th anniversary of the foundation of our beloved congregation, let us joyfully appreciate, ignite and radiate the gift of our charism, the fire of God's love, which we have received from our beloved founder, Saint Anthony Mary Claret. All along these 175 years, our brothers, men on fire with God's love, have kept it alive and spread its flames wherever they were sent in mission. In this jubilee year, let us recall the history weaved by this committed, joyful, and generous missionaries who have passed it on to our generation. I cannot contain my emotions of gratitude and joy for all those who went before us, the martyrs who died proclaiming Christ, singing and praying for the beloved congregation, the pioneers who went to various peripheries of human struggle and proclaimed the gospel of love. There are others, simple committed clinicians who were witnesses and messengers of God's love. They were like us human, fragile, and sinful, but effective instruments of God. They teach us that it is beautiful to live and die as a Claudian missionary following the spirit of our founder. Now it is our turn to keep alive the fire of our charism 
and radiates its light in the world in our times. The Claritian Communications, the iClarit, have prepared a series of videos, one of Claritian history. The aim is that we come to know our proud history because they inspire us and fill us with confidence and courage to walk together and walk in the Lord with faith, hope, and charity in our times. Peace and gladness, we are channels of all.